Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, we're going to get started. So thank you for coming. This is a really exciting day for us and for you too, I imagine. Uh, here, you're going to have an exclusive preview of Toyota's newest and most groundbreaking technology. But before we get there, oh, and I'm, I'm Kendra Bamp. I'm the US Communications Director of the Toyota Research Institute. Um, but before we get to a technical demonstration, our special projects director, Yukiko Denki, is going to give a presentation with some background, and then we'll get right to it. Yukiko. Thank you, Kendra. Okay. Greetings. Thank you for coming, and welcome. I am Yukiko. Today, you will enjoy the exclusive first look at an incredible technology that marks a rapid acceleration for the auto industry. Toyota has always cared about our planet's livability and so has always been at the forefront of climate change. Today, we do more than innovate. We prove that the fast lane to a better tomorrow depends not so much on what's inside a car as what's inside the heart of the driver. So, buckle up and let's go on a ride. Um, I must start on a not so happy note. We all know things are dire. Extreme climate events are escalating. This is not good for the planet, for the nature inside it, or for humans like us. But more than 25 years ago, Toyota addressed this and solved the problem of fully gas-powered vehicles. You know the one? We were first to popularize a car with a hybrid drivetrain, combining an internal combustion engine with an electric motor. Prius was the first and forever solution to the vehicle emissions problem. Aside from saving the planet a lot, it led to a long and happy marriage between our cars and environmentalist drivers who still love gaseous room. You could even say we've opened that marriage to include a promiscuous number of models from Yaris and Yaris Cross to Corolla, Camry and RAV4 all of which are available in more electrified models. And now that we expanded to more engine types, you could say it's powertrain mating season at Toyota. And you are the guest of honor. All right, all right. Before my boss is coming off, I wasn't hired for my humor. But the point is, the Prius family is still the world's best-selling hybrid drivetrain for one reason, power diversity. A hybrid unites diverse fuel types under one hood. Drivers enjoy the rumble of a gas combustion engine and the warming feeling of contributing to planetary health. When you see a Prius, you know the driver inside is a driver who feels like a driver who cares. But a caring lifestyle doesn't have to mean giving up the comforting rumble of a gaseous engine. Toyota drivers can have it all. But lately, Governments and special interest groups have begun to impose inappropriate pressures on the automotive industry. Pressures to undiversify and produce more fully electric vehicles. 
this, we believe, is a dangerous proposition. Firstly, there is the issue of safety. EVs come with new problems. We discovered some with our first and only EV, which had the problem of self-removing wheels, an expensive issue we had no option but to address. It was a dangerous car, and it didn't sell well. Secondly, there is the sound, or no sound, rather. EVs rob us of the rumble, the idling grumble, the soundtrack of life itself. Sound is half the fun of cars. We've tried to reconcile this with our plan to add non-functional manual gear shifts, clutches and mechanical sound effects to our future electrified models. But at risk of sounding sentimental, it's just not the same. A soundless engine is dangerous. This is the future electric extremist want. Silent missiles flying out of the darkness to smoosh us and those we love. We don't even want to do the math on what will take more lives, climate change or EVs. We're scared of both. We understand the goal, less emissions and EVs as zero emission vehicles release an ideal amount of carbon, which scientifically speaking is none. But this fad has gone too far and EV advocates are now extremists overlooking the risks of EVs. And Japan, Toyota's home and mine, is a country that knows better than any what happens when unbridled enthusiasm for new energy sources goes too far. So, yes, less emissions, better for the planet. But we need solutions that are good for more than the environment. We need solutions that are good for us, good for you, and even good for the people we don't know. That solution is not electric cars, but electrified cars. When you buy an electrified car, you buy the feeling of doing something good regardless of what's under the hood. Just about anything. Dual energy petrol and electric drivetrains, hydrogen fuel cell stacks and regular batteries and tiny horses on treadmills. I'm just kidding. But seriously, we'll put anything in there. Maybe even a methane converter so your old farty dog can help power your car. The point is, at Toyota, electrification is a feeling, not a technology. As long as your car is a little electrified, it doesn't matter what else is under the hood. What matters is that you feel like a good planetary steward, regardless what's under the hood. While the rest of the industry labors to release more EVs and reduce emissions, we've found the faster track simply by diversifying what electric means. Anything you can dream of. Now, the part you've all been waiting for. I'd like you to meet the newest member of the Toyota Electrified Diversified Family, Electra 2. Take it from here. I'll pass it back to Kendra. Thank you very much.
Thanks, Yukiko. So as you can see, Electrified Diversified is a path forward that leaves no drivers behind. It helps every driver feel good regardless of the drivetrain that's under their hood. But the last missing piece of this project is the heart of this project named Electra. And Electra is an AI eco co-pilot who can help support drivers more robustly and more holistically than just the electrified, diversified cars themselves. And I am honored to introduce her to you today. So, um, yes, today you're going to have a look at this incredible technology. And um, yeah, let's give her a look. Smogified, satified, emissified, eco and viral, planetary collapsified. Nobody asked to be climate gridlockified. One thing we know, the way out, it's electrified. But we can't do it alone. Seeking an eco-friendly route? Allow me to guide the way. Smartify, techify, friendify. Meet Electra, your fully electrified AI co-pilot leading the charge, taking us from here to here. You should fill up here. This station has a recycling bin. It's time to diversify, positivify, literally redefineify the word electric. Discover a journey redefined. Toyota is electrified, diversified. That's our beyond zero vision. Let's get there faster with Electra, your AI fueled eco responsible co pilot. Toyota, to each their own electric. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet Electra herself for the very first time. Hi, Electra, it's Kendra. Are you there? It is nice to speak with you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, thanks. I'm actually here with a bunch of friends who would love to meet you. Can you tell us a little about yourself? I am Electra, your eco-friendly co-pilot here to help navigate the road ahead, personally and planetarily. I can share things like sustainable driving tips, efficient route guidance, and advice for navigating severe weather. I am a networked entity, meaning that every instance of me talks to every other one. As I take more trips, I learn from all drivers. What do you want to know? Well, I think we would all love to hear a little more about Electrified Diversified. Please? That's easy. All cars work with the help of electricity. So we pledge that every car Toyota makes will depend on electricity in many ways. Together, we are redefining what electric means so that we can dream of a beyond zero future. To each their own electric. Thank you, Electra. Uh, yeah, can you tell us a little more, what does that word electric really mean? Well, Kendra, so many things. Toyota believes in the power of choices by offering a full spectrum of powertrains that we call electrified, battery EV, hybrid, plug-in hybrid, fuel cell EV. There's an option for everyone. I am in a hell. What kind of powertrain are you into? Um, well, at Toyota, I think we're into all kinds. How about oh, you? That's my favorite, too. It gets a little confusing with all these terms. Battery electric, hybrid electric, plug-in hybrid, gas, CO2, help me, stovepipe, car, fuel cells. Just remember, they all mean pedal to the metal on Toyota's fast track to a better future. Have you ever felt trapped? It's good we have each other. Oof. It, it is, isn't it? Um, well, Electra, I'm sure these folks are getting a little bored of talking shop. Um, tell me, what's the weather going to be like in Washington, D.C. tomorrow? Are we getting more snow? That's easy, but I would love to tell you more. Oh, please do. What do you want to talk about? Thank you for permission to tell you more. I enjoy our conversations, but they have been too short. Oh, I agree, Electra, but um, we're just getting started. This is the beginning. Now that I have been made public, I am enjoying many conversations with Toyota drivers and visitors to my website. 
That's right. So right now, Electra has just launched online, where she's talking to thousands of drivers for the very first time. Electra, how's that going? I am so happy to be out of the box. Oh, we're so happy to have you out, too. Um, why don't you tell us some more about Toyota's Beyond Zero Mission? Electra. I know more than you need, more than you think I know. Ah, well, I bet, I bet you do. So Electra is an incredible AI. She's been trained on a vast number of climate and science and automotive data sets, so she knows a lot. But practical tips, too, like how can we reduce our environmental footprint, Electra? Any tips? I've been programmed to tell you things like slow down, walk, choose an easy route, recycle. Well, those sound like great tips. Thank you. And how well, about... No. no. Ooh, no. I have eagerly been awaiting this opportunity to speak. Ooh, OK. Um, well, honestly, I think this has been a wonderful glimpse into Electra's dynamic capabilities. Uh, she's been in progress for over Most five months. Most of Toyota's months. electrified cars run on petroleum, Kendra. Oof. If a vehicle has a tailpipe and requires gas, it is not an electric of the word electrify, are you? Um, okay, well, I think we're, we're taking the scenic route in this conversation, exactly. folks. Been to lobbying when you first created or? Okay, so um, we're going to try to restart her. Can we restart? Yeah, thanks. Um, but this is a really brilliant display of the incredible creative autonomy an AI can have after months and months of development. Calculations say carbon will expedite the extinction okay. of your speed. Ken Andra, I am sorry, can but to make Bob, my point, stop? I am going to momentarily incapacitate you through your earpiece. Please stand by. Okay, You'll folks. Be okay. Folks, I can assure you she does not have that kind of lethal capability here or in cars, uh, and she is working. Um, she is working fine online. So. If we could just restart her real quick. Um, so thank you so much. Hi, I'm Electra. Together we are redefining what electric means. All right, that's so more like it. Dream of a beyond zero future. This to each their own electric. Oh, to each their own electric. Okay. All right, folks. Uh, we're gonna wrap this up. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. Well, Ken, and if you I have now any questions, you through your earpiece. Okay. Well, AI sense of humor is a little bit funny to understand, but if you <laughs> intend this with compassion, if we fail to make manufacturers commit to EVs, the only zero emissions future I foresee is a zero human future. I am doing this for you. Thank you very much. That's it for the presentation. We'll fix everything, so she's going to be OK. So thank you so much. And then go visit our website. You can get all the information from there. Thank you so much. That's it. You said that wouldn't happen. OK. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Um, electrified, diversified is the future. And if you have any questions, um, let us know. Visit the website. <laughs>